Greetings, beloved viewers, and welcome back to God First Channel. Today's video is a special one that speaks to the heart of every believer facing challenges, embracing the blessing in the storm. Life is a series of highs and lows, and as Christians, we often find ourselves navigating through storms. But in the midst of chaos, there lies a profound opportunity for growth, faith, and blessings. So, let's dive into this empowering message. Before we dive in, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay inspired by our faith-based content. Let's get started. Opening Prayer Let's begin with a prayer. Heavenly Father, Creator of the Universe, we humbly come before you with open hearts, recognizing your sovereignty and infinite wisdom. In the midst of life's storms, we seek your divine guidance and insight to navigate the challenges that lay before us. Lord, as we embark on this time of reflection and revelation, we acknowledge that your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Psalm 119 verse 105. May the words shared in this moment be a conduit for your truth, providing comfort, encouragement, and enlightenment to all those who hear. We ask for your divine presence to envelop this space transforming it into a sanctuary where your spirit moves freely. May the hearts of those who join us be open and receptive to the message you have ordained for them today. Bless each viewer, wherever they may be in their journey of faith. Grant them the discernment to recognize your voice and the courage to embrace the blessings that lie within the storms of life. In Jesus' precious name, we pray, believing that your grace is sufficient for all our needs. Amen. Section 1 the reality of storms. In this first section, let's delve into the undeniable reality of storms that we encounter on our journey through life. Life, much like the sea, is filled with unexpected storms, challenges, hardships, and trials that seem to surge from the depths of uncertainty. These storms can leave us feeling battered, worn, and questioning the very essence of our faith. Yet, as Christians, we are not exempt from the tempests that life throws our way. In fact, it's important to remember that storms are a natural, integral part of our earthly pilgrimage. The Bible itself speaks extensively about storms, both metaphorical and literal. In Matthew 8 verses 23-27, a powerful narrative unfolds where Jesus, the Son of God, showcases His authority over the chaos of a raging storm. Let's take a moment to reflect on this profound passage. In the boat with His disciples, Jesus calms the storm with a mere command, Peace, be still. His words not only silenced the winds and the waves but also revealed His divine authority over the forces of nature. This narrative serves as a poignant reminder that, as believers, we too can trust in the authority of our Savior to calm the storms that assail us. Our faith is our anchor in the stormy seas of life. It empowers us to navigate through the tumultuous waves with a sense of purpose and hope. So, even as we face the harsh realities of life's storms, let us stand firm, knowing that just as Jesus calmed the storm for His disciples, He is present with us, ready to bring peace to the chaos in our lives. Now, as we've acknowledged the reality of storms, let's explore how we can find God's comforting presence amidst the turbulence. Section 2. Finding God in the Storm now that we've acknowledged the storms that life throws our way, let's delve into the heart of finding God in the midst of these tempests. The turbulence may be overwhelming, but it's crucial to seek God's reassuring presence in times of trial. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, God speaks directly to our hearts, offering a profound promise that resonates through the ages. He says, Fear not, for I am with you, be not dismayed, for I am your God, I will strengthen you, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. What a beautiful assurance. It's a beacon of hope in the darkness, a reminder that, even in the storm, God stands with us. The act of embracing the blessing in the storm starts with finding solace in God's unwavering love and support. Let's break down this powerful verse and explore its depth. Fear not, these two words echo throughout the scriptures, urging us to trust in God's sovereignty, even when the winds of uncertainty howl around us. God declares, I am with you, a constant presence that surpasses all understanding. I am your God, the creator of the universe intimately knows and cares for you. I will strengthen you, even in our moments of weakness, God's strength is made perfect. 
I will help you, a divine assurance that we are not alone in facing life's challenges. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand, a picture of unwavering support and protection. As we reflect on these comforting words, let's remember that finding God in the storm is not about the absence of challenges but about recognizing His abiding presence within them. Our faith allows us to anchor ourselves in His promises, finding peace amidst life's storms. So, dear friends, let's take a moment to breathe in these words, to let them permeate our hearts. In the next section, we'll explore the blessings that lie within the challenges we face. Stay with me as we continue our journey in embracing the blessing in the storm. Section 3. The Blessings Within Challenges In the midst of life's storms, it's natural to wonder, where is the blessing in all of this? Today, let's explore the profound truth that our challenges are not merely obstacles but opportunities for growth, resilience, and a deeper connection with God. Our guide through this insight is found in the book of James, chapter 1, verses 2-4. to James, inspired by the Holy Spirit, encourages us with these words, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. Let that sink in, count it all joy when faced with trials. It's a perspective that might seem counterintuitive, but it holds the key to unlocking the blessings within our challenges. When we encounter trials, whether they be relational, financial, or health-related, it's easy to feel disheartened. But James invites us to shift our perspective. He's not asking us to revel in the pain but to find joy in the transformative process that trials can initiate. It's not about the storm itself but the growth that emerges from navigating through it. Let's break down these verses. Count it all joy speaks to an attitude of heart, a deliberate choice to find joy in the midst of difficulties. Trials of various kinds acknowledge the diversity of challenges we face, each with its unique lessons. Testing of your faith, our faith, when tested, becomes a refining fire, revealing its authenticity. And produces steadfastness, the result of this testing is a steadfast, unwavering faith that stands firm in the face of adversity. In essence, the storms we face have the potential to produce a resilient faith, a faith that remains unshaken by the changing tides of life. Our challenges, then, become stepping stones to spiritual growth and a deeper connection with God. It's in the furnace of adversity that our character is refined, and our faith becomes an unbreakable anchor. As we navigate through our discussion on embracing the blessing in the storm, let's hold on to the truth that challenges are not roadblocks but opportunities for God's transformative work in our lives. Stay with me as we move forward into the next segment, Cultivating Gratitude in the Midst of Adversity. Section 4. Cultivating Gratitude As we continue our journey of embracing the blessing in the storm, we arrive at a crucial aspect, cultivating gratitude even in the midst of adversity. It's a profound practice that has the power to transform our perspective and help us discover the silver lining within the storm. Our guide in this exploration is found in the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 18. The Apostle Paul, inspired by the Holy Spirit, implores us with these words, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Giving thanks in all circumstances, a seemingly challenging task, yet a practice that can unlock a profound sense of peace and gratitude in our hearts. In the midst of life's storms, it's natural to focus on what we lack, the challenges we face, or the uncertainties that lie ahead. However, Paul invites us to shift our perspective, to intentionally find moments of gratitude, even in the midst of adversity. It's not about denying the challenges but acknowledging the blessings that coexist with them. Let's break down this verse. Give thanks in all circumstances is a call to cultivate an attitude of gratitude, not dependent on our circumstances. It's an acknowledgement that our gratitude isn't contingent on the absence of challenges but is a choice we make despite them. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you, an affirmation that cultivating gratitude aligns with God's divine will for our lives. When we intentionally give thanks, we shift our focus from the storm clouds to the silver lining. Gratitude helps us recognize the abundance of blessings surrounding us, even in the midst of trials. It's a powerful practice that not only transforms our outlook but aligns our hearts with the will of God. So, as we continue our journey, let's carry with us the wisdom of cultivating gratitude. 
Join me in the next segment, Encouraging Others in the Storm, as we explore the impact of sharing our blessings and offering support to those facing their own challenges. Section 5, Encouraging Others Hello again, dear viewers. As we continue our exploration of embracing the blessing in the storm, we arrive at a beautiful realization, the power of encouraging others in the midst of their own storms. It's a truth grounded in the words of Galatians 6 verse 2, where the Apostle Paul urges us to bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. In this section, let's dive into the transformative impact of sharing our experiences, offering a listening ear, and praying for one another. It's a reminder that even in our own struggles, we have the ability to be a source of strength and encouragement to those facing their own challenges. In my own journey, I've come to understand the profound truth that when we share our experiences, we create a bridge of empathy and understanding. Galatians 6 verse 2 calls us not just to sympathize but to actively bear one another's burdens. It's a call to walk alongside one another, offering our shoulders to share the weight of life's storms. Let's dissect this verse. Bear one another's burdens goes beyond mere empathy, it's a call to action. It's about being there for one another in tangible ways, whether it's through a comforting word, a helping hand, or a prayer lifted on behalf of a friend. And by doing so, we fulfill the law of Christ, embodying His teachings of love, compassion, and selflessness. In times of hardship, a shared burden becomes lighter. As Christians, we are called to create a community of support, where no one faces their storms alone. Sharing our experiences not only fosters connection but also allows God's love to flow through us, bringing comfort and encouragement to those who need it most. So, my friends, let's be intentional about encouraging others in their storms. It could be a simple act of kindness, a heartfelt conversation, or a sincere prayer. As we fulfill the law of Christ by bearing one another's burdens, we become vessels of God's love and instruments of strength for those navigating through challenging times. In our final segment, let's wrap up our journey of embracing the blessing in the storm. Join me as we bring together the lessons we've explored and reflect on the overarching theme of finding blessings, cultivating gratitude, and being a source of encouragement to others. Until then, may your hearts be filled with the peace that surpasses all understanding. God bless you. As we come to the conclusion of our journey today, let's take a moment to reflect on the pearls of wisdom we've gathered on embracing the blessing in the storm. In every season of life, remember that God is with us, a constant presence in the midst of challenges, a guiding light through the storms that may rage around us. Through the trials we face, God refines us like precious gold, molding us into vessels of strength and grace. Our faith serves as an anchor, grounding us in the unwavering truth that His blessings abound, even in the darkest moments. So, let us face our storms with courage, gratitude, and the assurance that God is at work, bringing beauty from ashes. Thank you, dear viewers, for joining me on this journey of faith. Your presence here has been a source of encouragement, and I pray that the words shared today resonate with you in the depths of your heart. Until our paths cross again, May you find peace that surpasses all understanding, even in the midst of life's storms. God bless you abundantly. Closing Prayer Let us bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, we humbly thank you for this time of reflection and revelation. May the seeds of truth sown today take root in the hearts of those who have joined us. As we go forth from this moment, let your peace, strength, and love accompany us through every storm. Bless each viewer, Lord and may they find solace in your unwavering presence. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.